Okay, coming up later in the show, the Alistair Becker King and Mark Mayer. The short one, Mr. Harry Beyond. But before that, uh, for the very first time here at the Bearcats, Quiet Dr. Hamwell, please welcome to the stage, Jackie Doherty! <laughs>
she eat? <laughs> but you know what? We are a nurturing, encouraging society, so we all give Wendy a round of applause. <laughs> now to me, that is wrong. <laughs> you know, she's gone there to lose weight, which she's found miserably at. Yet we're congratulating her. What sort of message are we giving her? We should be booing her really, shouldn't we? Yeah. And then, the moment we've all been waiting for, Slimmer of the Week. Now, Slimmer of the Week this week is Angela. Angela has managed to lose a whopping 11 pound in one week. 11 pound in a week! Not only that, Angela has been on a mini break to Benidorm. <laughs> Nobody likes Angela. <laughs> whilst enjoying her mini break in Benidorm. Well, it turns out she had a dodgy prawn in her paella on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Spent the whole time on the toilet, but woohoo, <laughs> slim of the week. <laughs> but you know, we've all got one of these annoying friends, haven't we? A skinny friend who comes out with a saying and they go, ooh, I've been so busy I forgot to eat. <laughs> How does that happen? With me, I'm like, Oh, I've been so busy, I forgot I ate. <laughs> so I ate again. <laughs> and then, you know, you've got all these wonderful excuses. You've got the people that say, Oh, a bit of water retention, a bit of water retention. No, when they let that one go, they're going to need a boat, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you get the ones that say, Oh, I'm, I'm a little bit constipated, I'm a little bit constipated. It's basically full of shit. <laughs> but you know what? The best excuse, and this is a genuine, genuine condition. If you don't believe me, Google it. Not, not now, sir. Wait till I finish. Um, is a thing called sleep eating disorder. Has anybody actually heard of this? But what it is, these people, they get up in the middle of the night and they go into their kitchen and they prepare, usually from scratch, a massive feast. So they, they, they like do like eggs, bacon, sausage, black pudding, fried bread, beans, tomatoes, you name it. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> you name it. They wash it down with two litres of Pepsi. Not Pepsi Max. Full sugar Pepsi. They get a gato out the freezer. They don't even bother to defrost it. <laughs> they wolf that down and they don't know anything about it until they get up in the morning. <laughs> What a load of products. <laughs> I mean, seriously, they never get up and realise they've had a salad. Look at that. Or two rye beaters and a laughing cow, no fat cheese. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Seriously, if you don't want to eat the food, don't buy it. And if you've got to buy it, put a lock on your fridge, or failing that, go to bed wearing a muzzle. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've been